Greetings fellow traveler. I want to remind you to not get lost in a life that you did not create. The world is going to tell us, hey, we should be this, we should do that. That's not of our creation, that's somebody else's creation. Don't get lost in that. Don't get lost in searching for certain status, uh, search for certain validation. If you choose to, hey, that's your thing, I'm not judging. On my own journey, hasn't been fulfilling enough. It really hasn't done the job. What I found being helpful is being true to myself, being at peace with who I am, how I live, uh, the goals that I do have, the goals that I have achieved in the past. Most importantly, simply being present in my life, being okay with this world of my creation. See, when I got lost in the creation of others, I was never good enough. Never. But when I began to reflect, go inner instead of outer, I found more peace, I found more solitude, I found myself, I found God. I found the, the ability to tap into a source that's always been there working with me and for me, but I didn't recognize it. That's cool. I had to go through it in order to be able to find my way. Still finding my way each and every moment, each and every day. I don't have this thing figured out. I'm not perfect at all. I'm simply sharing as I go along. That's what we all do in some shape, form, or fashion. But in finding yourself along your journey, it's not as easy to get lost in the ideas and visions of others. And I think that's a beautiful gift in and of itself to be able to sit with yourself and be okay with that. To be able to sit with the thoughts that are festering in your mind and be okay with that. To be inspired by the way you think instead of destroying your idea of self because of the way you think. I think it's beautiful. Because you really get to be in your life and not consume with being in the lives of others. It's a whole nother kind of existence. It's a different uh, different way to tap into our true abilities. See, I get lost in things. I do. But I get lost in the things of my choosing. Whether it be learning a skill, whether it be acquiring different information, whether it be acquiring different resources, I'll get lost in that. That feeds my curiosity. That feeds the, the hunger that I have to engage with the mysteries of this life. That's my sweet spot. That's where I really love. So that's what I'm into. For others, it's different things. It could be playing instruments. It could be performing. It could be going to a particular job or workplace. It could be building up their career. Everyone has their things. And that's fine. Not one thing, but everyone has their things. Cool. Get lost in those things that inspire you. Get lost in those things that make you happy to be part of this reality. But don't get lost and consumed in what you should be doing or what uh, anybody else tells you is the right way. Live your life. Find those things that make you happy about the day. And over time, the more days you have like that, the more moments you have like that, the more gratitude you truthfully show for your ability to mold and build and create this life of your choosing. Get lost in your own life of gratitude, appreciation, beauty, as opposed to getting lost in the lives of those who may not reflect the same as you, those who may not be fulfilled in life, those who may not even appreciate being fulfilled in life. There's always gonna be more there's always going to be a, a way to expand. Cool. Might as well be in something of your choosing. And not that somebody else chose for you. Until next time, be blessed. Please don't forget to smile.